Hello and welcome to another Am I How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, I want to bring in from Control Techniques, Mr. Alex Harvey, who's going to be talking all about selecting the optimum variable frequency drive, or like what we call VFD, for your electric motor. Am I correct, Alex? You are correct, Tom. Okay, thank you. Well, it's great to have you here, but before we get started, can you give me a little background on today's product? So today I'll explain the basics of how to select the optimum VFD for an application once you've chosen your motor. So here we have two examples of matched VFDs and motors, one open loop and one closed loop with encoder feedback. Now, before we start, I want to mention to everybody that I do have some PPE on here, and we should always make sure that we wear the right PPE for whatever the job calls for. So if we were to actually apply power, we would need PPE according to the applied voltages and insulation conditions, right? That's correct. Okay. okay. Well, let's get started. Now, I know that the majority of VFD applications are open loop, where the VFD controls the speed of a three-phase AC motor without requiring a speed feedback device to be connected. But Alex, tell us, what are the most popular? So our most popular model here is this Unidrive M200 VFD. Now, to make life easy, we've created a simple selection flyer here, okay. which has matched motors and VFDs. So once you've selected your motor, you look across the row here and pick the appropriate VFD based on voltage. In this case, we have a 3.4 amp motor. Right and a 4.2 amp VFD. So this combination will work. Okay. Now, another important note is that to get the best value combination, always work off of the motor nameplate current and size the VFD on that rather than motor horsepower. That's if you want to get the best value, right? That's correct. Yeah, but what about some other considerations that we need to think about? Great question. Other considerations include the machine overload, installation environment and system integration needs. Now, the Unidrive M series of VFDs here have an extensive range of features built in, including a PLC. Now, one very popular option is this SD card for backing up VFD parameters. So yeah, that's a pretty cool tool, and I'm sure customers really can benefit from using one of those, right? That's right. Let's consider closed loop applications that require precise speed control. Okay. The motor here is fitted with an encoder. Now this is matched to a Unidrive M700 series, which has encoder feedback as standard for doing closed loop operation, including position control. All right. Now again, from a sizing perspective, this is a 4.7 amp, 460 volt motor, and that's matched to a 6.2 amp, 460 volt VFD. So the VFD selection really isn't that difficult when you think about it. That's right. To select the optimum VFD, all you need are the motor nameplate, current and voltage ratings, okay. machine overload, motor feedback, and system integration requirements. Sounds pretty easy to me. Alex, thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Alex Harvey, he is with Control Techniques, and if you have any questions about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch, and they'll be able to help you out. PPE, you saw we had it on the table, didn't need it. These weren't really powered up. But remember, whatever job you're working on, whatever project, make sure you have the proper PPE so you're safe. Also, go to mihowto.com. You can find some other videos there, just like this one, with great information and some great demonstrations as well. With me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.